Hi, my name is Dr. Wes Ely from the Vanderbilt University and the VA Tennessee Valley Healthcare System in Nashville, Tennessee. And on behalf of the Society of Critical Care Medicine, I wanted to describe for you the ICU Liberation Collaborative. When the Society of Critical Care Medicine published its pain, agitation, and delirium guidelines, which were a literature review of 20,000 manuscripts, we realized that it would be very difficult for institutions to implement these guidelines without some sort of a program, a way of simplifying the implementation process. So that is what ICU Liberation Collaborative came to be. A group of 75 hospitals from around the United States got together and using the ABCDEF bundle, which is a bundle of the literature synthesized down from the New England Journal, Lancet, JAMA, Critical Care Medicine, ICM, and so on, about 100 to 250 manuscripts, pared down into a sticky message, an easy way to remember these basic elements of providing comfortable and safe care for our patients, was implemented across the United States, and we learned a tremendous amount about things that worked well, things that didn't work well, and how to overcome these pitfalls. So we hope that you find the ICU Liberation Collaborative story of use at your institution, and that it will be something that you can then take back to your own quality improvement initiatives to make a safer, more comfortable, and ultimately more successful environment for your patients, not only during their ICU experience and critical illness, but for the months and years afterwards during their successful recovery.